Does your barbecue food seem a bit lacking? It's likely because there is no cornbread, no mac and cheese, french fries, hush puppies, or white bread. So, for inspiration, he looks to one of his favorite Instagrammers, Keto Sam I Am. She has a perfect solution a spicy keto coleslaw recipe. The easy method is convenient and fast. It begins with a bag of coleslaw mix. However, we will be taking the less easy method, which requires the use of two heads of cabbage. One white and one red. After you quarter the cabbage, you can slice it with a knife. However, he will be using a mandolin for speed and consistency. After a few strokes on the faux instrument, he makes sure to use a safety thing that prevents finger slicing, because without fingers, he can't eat. Compared to the knife sliced cabbage, the mandolin sliced one is thinner and more consistent. His knife skills are clearly lack. He does the same with the red cabbage, and creates exactly what he is trying to avoid. Confetti. Boop! Eventually he slices the cabbage correctly. He also shows us his Spider-Man reflexes. As the mandolin falls, he purposely avoids the mandolin's sharp blade and catches it on the back end. This leads to our tip for the video. Never ever try to catch a falling object that is sharp. He shakes off the confetti-sized pieces and adds it to his bowl with the shredded wait, 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 wait. cabbage. He sets it aside and then cleans, and moves on to his carrot. Using a large knife, he scrapes the sides to clean it. Then, using a vegetable peeler and a light touch, he slices small thin stripes as he rotates the carrot. He wants something like carrot sticks without the work. This goes into the bowl, and the carrot skeleton... Trash. He then grabs two jalapenos and removes the stems like French guillotine did to aristocratic heads. He likes his spice, so he doesn't de them. And he cleans. Because... ants. Using his homegrown pre-onions, otherwise known as scallions, he cuts off three small stems and thinly slices them. They do go into the bowl to make some friends. Next, boop, is the wet ingredients. In the bowl, he adds about half a cup of mayonnaise, a tablespoon of erythritol, roughly two tablespoons of mustard, of which has horseradish for extra spice, and he needs vinegar. You can use any vinegar or white vinegar in a pinch, but he will be using rice vinegar, because why not? A tablespoon of that, a quarter teaspoon of cumin, a small sprinkle of cayenne pepper, black pepper, and of course, salt. Enough salt to defrost an Antarctic sidewalk in the winter. Then, using a spoon, he stirs the ingredients until he has a nice homogenous mixture. He then sets it aside and brings in his dry ingredients. Using a black glove for the sake of barbecue, he mixes the veggies until they are evenly distributed. Then, he adds the wet mixture to the dry. And, using his spatula, he makes sure to remove all remnants of the sauce from the bowl. Using the same dirty gloved hand, he mixes it, until the ingredients become best friends. He covers the bowl with wrapper the saran, and places it into the fridge where it will wait patiently for at least 30 minutes. The longer it sits, the spicier it becomes. Who am I kidding? Ain't nobody got time for that. His food is getting cold. So he plates himself some coastal along his pickles, and sits down to eat. He believe low-carb food should be delicious, Make sure to watch these other videos. Until next time, eat well.